Hello again, boys and girls. The princess has asked us to do a play for her. So I'm going to narrate a story and the girls are going to act it out. Hope you enjoy our play. The name of the play is The Witch in the Meadow. Let's begin. Once upon a time, a long time ago, a man had two daughters, Red Rose and White Snow. Their cheeks were like roses, their faces were fair, two beautiful girls with pink and purple hair. And the king, how grandly he looked sitting there, a smile on his face and never a care. As our story begins, it was just after lunch. The king was all smiles, cause he'd eaten a bunch. He called to his daughters, Red Rose and White Snow, because they were such beautiful girls, you know. Red Rose, White Snow. Here we are, Father. We came as soon as you called. Yes, Daddy. We are here. We are here to see you, Daddy. What did you need? I love you, sweet daughters. I want you to wed. So that's why I've sent for Prince Eric von Fred. Now go pick some flowers to put in your hair. Look down in the meadow. You'll find nice ones there. Okay, Daddy. We'll go pick some flowers for our hair. Come on, sis. Let's go pick some flowers. Let's go. So the girls did as their father asked and went down to the meadow to pick some flowers. Look, sister, at all the pretty flowers. Yes, I can see that we can get a lot. I love pretty flowers. Look, there are, they're beautiful. Let's get some. And so the girls were busy picking flowers. They picked bright blossoms. Red, pink, yellow, and blue. They chose every color. They chose every hue. The girls heard a noise that sounded quite near. They both stopped their picking and stood frozen in fear. Who goes there? A witch asked, all grumpy and mean. This is my meadow. In here, I am queen. You're stealing my flowers. For this you will pay. I'll use all my magic, a spell I will say. Spindles and needles and threads that are sewn, cow's ears and livers and pigtails and bones, ippity pippity winnie the poo, spitty 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 boo hoo hoo hoo. I spit over my shoulder, I spit over my knee, I spit over the flowers, I spit over thee. I throw in a sandwich, I throw in a flea, I throw in a pudding for baby and me. Poof, you're a dog. Poof, you're a cat. When the girls didn't return, the king cried in alarm. Oh no, where are the princesses? Where are they? They've got to be around here somewhere. Oh no, what will I do? What will I do? afraid that his daughters had come to some harm. The prince then arrived. I'll save them, sire. I'll save them, because I have the power. I'll grab both the girls and be back in an hour. He went down to the meadow and soon found the witch. And when she told him what happened, he answered her quick. I'll bite your nose, I'll crush your toes, if you don't turn the princess back. I'll twist your arm, I'll do you harm, if you don't turn the princess back. Now I'm going to count to three. If you don't bring them back to me, I'll make you very sad. The witch called the dog, and then she called the cat. She waved her magic wand, and from her mouth she spat... 
Rocks and pebbles, lice and mice, bring me all things which are nice, slimy, crawly, greasy things, things with whiskers, things with wings. Lean to the right, lean to the left, lean fully forward and fall on yourself. Pick up a cricket, pick up a toad, pick up a marshmallow and throw across the road. Crickety, crockety, rickety, row, sing up a high note, ee, and sing down real low, hoo. All of the princess is made into beast. With the count of three, the beast will decease. One, two, three. The cat and the dog turned back, just like that. The prince and princesses returned to the king. Oh, my beautiful daughters, I am so glad you're back. Oh, we are too, Father. We are so happy to be back. We did not like being a dog and a cat. But the prince, he rescued us. Yay! Yay! The castle was again filled with laughter. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. And this was the story of the witch in the meadow. So if you ever meet a witch in a meadow, be very careful. Just kidding. There's no such thing as witches in meadows. Of course not, children. But it was a fun story, wasn't it? Yay! Say bye, everybody. Bye-bye. We're so glad you enjoyed it. Come back again for another Bobby Cat adventure. You can find adventures in my books in Amazon, or where any good books are sold in bookstores. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.